What's up guys, welcome back to a new vlog. I've got a fun vlog for you guys today and one I'm probably more excited than anything I've ever done on this channel. It's a beautiful Saturday afternoon. It is May 11th. Nothing special about today other than this weather here in Salt Lake City. I am going to buy a new car. You guys know I've had issues with my trucks. I almost bought an, a 99 Chevy Silver, or no, it was actually a 2000 Silverado with 99,000 miles. I almost bought that a couple days ago. I decided to pass, and I'm glad I did because I'm gonna go buy a new car. I'm gonna drive up to Ogden to go pick it up today. I'll take you guys with me. I'm so excited for this video, guys. Please stay tuned and watch this entire video. It's a good one. Okay, guys, I made it up here to uh, Ogden. We're here at the Utah Pick Apart. So if you guys remember when I redid my Chevy, my buddy Dave, who I met through social media, actually owns this business. This is a family run business that they've had. They have two locations here in Utah and then I think their family owns some in Vegas. So Dave's become a huge friend and he's helped me out a bunch. And when I told him I was looking for a new car, he said he had this thing for sale. So check it out. This is the new car I'm here to pick up today. It's a 2007 Subaru Legacy. The thing is in really good condition. It's a 2007 with only, I think, 74,000 miles. So let me show you the inside of this bad boy. AC blows cold. They got that done and uh, got the Freon charge. So it's ready to rock and roll. I'm going to take it home and give it a detail. So some of you may be wondering why the heck would Eric go buy a car? Oh, by the way. Yep, it's got a sunroof. Why would Eric be buying a car? So guys, this is not for me. Tomorrow, as many of you may know, is Mother's Day, and uh, this is my gift to my mom. And I'm just so excited, guys. This is crazy. First off, I wanna say thank you to Dave. Thank you to Chris, your whole team over here at Pick Apart and the Power Colt Performance. These guys are top notch, guys, man. They helped me so much to get this car ready to go for me to purchase and gift to my mom. And man, they gave me a screaming deal, so I can't thank those guys enough. This car is a gift for Mother's Day for my mom, for me, and honestly, tomorrow, I, you guys, I can't even express how excited I am to give this thing to my mom tomorrow. I'll tell you more about that. Tomorrow's Mother's Day, and this is gonna literally be like the best day of my life, I think. I'm gonna go clean it, and I'm gonna surprise my mom with it tomorrow, and I wanna make sure you guys watch it, but uh, yeah, isn't that cool? Can't wait. gosh this car drives like a dream just got off the highway and honestly it was probably about a 45 minute drive on the highway and I bet I averaged 75 miles 70 you know 75 miles an hour the whole time and this thing drives like a dream it's fun to just buzz around in a little car I'm always driving my trucks of course and um, just to be this low to the ground and kind of be able to be fast maneuver and accelerate a little a little better is uh, fun so Man, guys, I cannot wait to give this to my mom. It's, I'm on my way to my sister's house and we're gonna do a big detail on it. I'm gonna clean this thing until it is not have a speck of dust on it. And the first thing I wanna do when I get to her house is call Dave and just say thank you because, man, guys, he, Dave hooked it up. Speak of the devil, Dave just called me. Dave. You there? Yeah, man, what's up? Was it, was it painful or painless or what? <laughs> I literally just pulled into my sister's, took her for a buzz and was going to call you just to say thanks, but we had just got it back to her house and this thing drives like a dream. Yep. Yeah, man, it's nice. The AC was uh, freezing me out. I had to turn it down. It's nice and cold too. Sweet. Yeah, man. I, uh, I'm so happy, dude. I can't thank you enough. This is going to be so much fun. The Mom, happy Mother's Day for me too. Oh, I will, dude. She, I don't even know how she's gonna react, but she's not even gonna believe it. My sister and uh, are you gonna my, film her? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna film it. I'm giving it to her tomorrow, and uh, I can't wait to see what she says. Awesome, dude. Well, Thanks, thank, thank you, man. Seriously, this will help. I think this will take some weight off my sh dad's shoulders for having to deal with her car all the time, and this will help my family a lot. So, thank you. Good, man. I'm, I'm happy. I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, man. See you, buddy. All right. See you, Dave. Thanks again. Bye, right, peace. Okay, bye. Oh, man. Dave is, Dave is just too nice. But, guys, I am going to work on the carpet while I'm here at my sister's. 
Then I'm going to take it to my house, do a full inside and outside detail, and clean this thing. So let's take a look at it now. The car is in really great condition, and being that it has a lighter color interior, it's a lot easier to see the blemishes and the dirt, of course. And obviously the driver's side is has got the worst of it, being that this is where, you know, whoever had it and owned it before sat the most and drove the most, and the light color interior just really shows the uh, dirt a lot. But honestly, the back and the passenger is not bad, so... There's not much not much to worry about back here, but I'll do a full interior. We'll scrub the carpets, scrub the seats. I'll get door jams, everything out, Let's detail that. We'll scrub the outside. All right, guys, today's the day. Today is actually Sunday, and it is Mother's Day. I spent all yesterday afternoon cleaning this dang thing, and then most of all this morning besides my little morning workout, but I got this thing pretty dang clean and I'm satisfied with how it is so I'm gonna call it good let me go ahead and show you how it looks and I'll even show you some of the products I use but I got the wheels tires cleaned outside paint windows done of course the interior is probably where the biggest difference is everything is basically looking brand new this car actually was super clean and obviously well taken care of from the previous owner but we shampooed the carpets, let them dry out. We cleaned up most everything that was in there. If you guys remember, it was pretty bad. Got some new floor mats, trim that out for the floor mat. It goes right underneath the uh, trunk and gas tank unlock. So yeah, there's the inside. Let me show you guys. One thing that's huge for me is the door jams. Try to do the best I could on all the door jams getting them super clean floor mats in the back the hardest part honestly was probably the seats and the upholstery being that it's a lighter color some of the stains and stain rings and whatever else were just almost impossible to get out but take a look at this side super clean got a little bit of armor all on some of the plastics doors are looking clean so I use all kinds of products and I actually have a lot of car cleaning, random stuff, car cleaning kits that I've got for myself and as gifts. But a couple things I had to use on some of the glass and stickers was sticker lifter, like Gooby Gone, Tough Stuff, had some of this, just random cleaning, all the Armor All brand stuff. I did not wax it, but I actually went to the store, Walmart to be exact, and I got this Mother's 2.0 clay bar so if you guys have ever done t detailing you know you can use a clay bar to to get off some of the grime and little tiny rust spots and random junk that just sticks to the paint so if you were to I didn't wax this thing but if you were to run your fingers across the paint it's really smooth and so basically I did the entire car with the uh, mother's Clay bar 2.0 or whatever they call it and uh, use soap and water like it suggested and also got some of this instant detailer To use as a lubricant when I was doing the clay bar uh, it turned out great I can't believe that today's Mother's Day gonna give this to my mom later For now, I'm gonna take myself a break go get a cold drink at the gas station and then actually take this guy up the canyon for Here's one of my favorite places just to cruise up the canyon. This is the top of Big Cottonwood Canyon. And uh, as you can see, we got plenty of snow up here in Utah. But took it for a whip, handled great up the canyon. Did a little time lapse on the way up. But uh, you can see there's a few little dents on this side, but everything's looking way good. Give her a call and say happy Mother's Day and kind of we'll see where she's at with her vehicle on fixing it. Hey, Mom. <laughs> How are you? Good. What are you doing? Uh, nothing yet. What are you doing? Oh, just hanging out. I guess uh, going to get ready here in a minute. We're coming over there at like what, 4? Yeah, 4, 4.30. Well, happy Mother's Day, Mom. Well, thank you very much, Eric. Are you feeling sick? 
I've had a frog in my throat. I don't know. Yeah, when I come over there, I'll see. You guys haven't fixed it or anything, I suppose, huh? No, we haven't. Mm -mm. So you just don't have... Yeah. It's still out there. So you just don't have a car? No. Nope. Okay, well, when I come yep. over there tonight, I'll get all the make and model and everything. We'll see if we can find a transmission yeah. for it or whatever. Okay, good. Okay, see you, okay. Mom. See ya. Bye-bye. <laughs> see, she has absolutely no clue. Let me tell you a little bit about my mom. My mom, she's been a great mom. Growing up, she took care of the four kids, took us all to soccer practice, hockey, baseball, softball for the girls, you name it. Um, she's always been there and she's always supported everything I've done and always helped me along the way. So she always has supported the idea of starting a business and kind of going that route. She's been very supportive and always provided me, you know, a place to live and roof over my head and, and, uh, always had home cooked meals. She, she'd do anything for me. There's no doubt about it. If I called her up and said, Hey mom, I need a bunch of food prep done. She'd do it. And, uh. She always puts other people first. That's just the kind of person she is. And uh, because of that, that's why she has no car. So she has a car. She always has had a car. But it seems like whenever she lends it out or borrows it to other uh, family members that, you know, need to use it, they return it not in the best condition. Like I said, she'll put other people first. So she was getting a ride to and from work. And I'm just like, I found that out. I'm like, mom has to get a ride to and from work. I'm just, this is not all right. So started looking into options. The fixer car ended up, you know, Dave ended up hooking it up on this car. And this is what we're surprising mom with for Mother's Day. And I cannot wait because she has absolutely no clue. And I think she will really enjoy this car. Next move is to just get over there and surprise her with the car. So stay tuned guys, the good stuff is coming right now. Okay guys, I just got to my mom's house. Literally just got here. My sister made this bow for me. So I'm not gonna waste any time. My whole family's here, my mom, my dad, my grandma, Jackie, which is my mom's mother. Nobody has any clue other than me, Walker, and Tara, and Peter. Let's do this. I have no clue how this is going to happen, but we're going to do it. Figure it out. Whew. Heart's starting to race. I'm so excited. All right, so Eric is about to give his mom for Mother's Day this sweet car. He's trying to, trying to make it kind of natural here. It's not to surprise her too much. Hey, Tara. What's going on in there? You got me a car? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, nice. Let's, Let's go drive it. it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. A new car? <laughs> a new car. Are you kidding? Oh my gosh, this is just amazing. Well, you don't need to pay for it, but you have a good one. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Oh wow. my gosh, where is she? Olivia. Mom, come and see oh, my Olivia. new car. <laughs> this is your car? I For had Grandma. You talking about Livy. <laughs> oh, this is my car. Oh, that is your car. Oh, gosh. Is it thick? It's a new one, a different a one. Style <laughs> <Wow. laughs> car. I'm illiterate with fire cars. Oh my God. Oh, you need a little sun, Mom? <laughs> Damn! I need some sun. Woo! We got ice cold AC. Oh my! It, it's perfect. Nice little automatic, all yes, wheel drive. Yes, it is, Eric. No, that is a I Mother's Day. This. <laughs> this is perfect Mother's Day, man. <laughs> It's I don't cute, have to huh? Worry about fixing my car. This is I perfect. know, Mom. You deserve it. Oh, up. thanks. You <laughs> <laughs> That's nice, huh? Yeah. You recording? Uh huh. Yeah, you did a good job cleaning it up. Oh, you! I did everything, Tara. 
Oh my gosh, it looks brand new inside. I know, right? Yeah, I know, I'm trying to get out. <laughs> I had absolutely no idea. <laughs> oh I got pictures from every angle. I can't stop photobombing. <laughs> that is so Look how cute it is. It's, it's darling. I think it'll be perfect, Mom. It's it all well dry perfect. for the winter. Just so I get to go to work. <laughs> Don't let the kids in. Yeah, these are all well drive. <laughs> sun <laughs> move. <laughs> Let's get some sun. Oh my gosh, how cool. <laughs> Yeah, I learned all about it since I detailed it. I know all the buttons and stuff. You know everything. You huh? got uh, sunglasses or a oh, wallet cool. or something. Mm -hmm. Works for me. I got six nice. presets Thank for you. you. Maybe okay. you could change it. 92.5 for show. Only has 75,000 miles yeah, too. It's nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Thanks, boy. You are wrong. You deserve it. You've oh. been so good to us always. I'm so happy to oh, have you. Oh, I always loved you guys. <laughs> You're the best. Oh my gosh, it's so me. Everything, oh. everything I can tell works That's on it. So great. like these mirrors, you mm -hmm. know, you can adjust those mirrors over here by just choosing right. Yeah. Doing up and down and all that. Did you know about this? Uh, maybe a little. Oh, no, <laughs> What's up, guys? Uh, back home. It is late. Let me show you. It is 1.27 a.m. And I just got done editing the video you guys just watched. So after what you guys saw, Walker and I just kind of drove my mom around. We showed her the, the car and all the little features it has. And uh, just had a great time. Then we went back to the house. And my dad was excited. And, and we let him drive it and take it around the block. But guys, just a great time. Honestly, best best Mother's Day I've ever been a part of. Best day of my life. I swear, the feeling that I got to gift that to my mom felt so good. Not only because she deserves it. She deserves everything. She's given our whole family everything she's got, had her whole life. But because she needed it so bad. Like, it's been months that she's been out of the car because she's lent it out to the family members but weeks that she hasn't had a car working at all because the transmission went out so she really needed this car she's super excited and happy i'm very happy and uh it was just a great time and i hope it encourages or inspires somebody out there to do something good it doesn't have to be for mother's day it could be any day any time and Man, I'm just so happy that I'm in a position to to do that for my mom. And I want to say thank you to all of you who watch these videos. Anybody who helps support the Hush brand. I wouldn't be able to, you know, save the little bit, bit of money I had to uh, buy her a car and, you know, buy it with cash and not have to have any car payments. That's the that's whole reason she wants to fix her car. She didn't want to have a car payment again. So I told her, I got you covered, mom. So that felt really good. But, uh. Again, guys, I just want to say thank you. It's late. I have to get up in a few hours to go shed hunting um, to make some videos with Martin on the Hush channel. If you guys saw on that channel, Martin is our newest employee, and we're going out tomorrow. It's his, it's his first day on the job, so we'll see how he does. But again, I just want to say thank you guys for watching this. Um, it means a lot that you guys follow along, and those of you who watched it all the way through, I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, man, I'm excited. I'm going to be out this this week getting lots of content for the Hush channel. And, and of course, I'll drive the vlog camera around everywhere I can to, to get some stuff for you guys. But thanks again. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you on the next video.